Okay, I'm going to try to go live again. How y'all doing? Let's see what happens here. I was on earlier and I didn't have a good connection. So I'm going to see what we got going on now to make sure that everything is okay. Now, let's see here. What we got going on now? Okay, good. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see here. Now I'm back. Okay. I don't know what was going on with my speaker, but it was a lot of fragmented noise in the background and I couldn't hear anything and I couldn't do anything. So I know you guys didn't hear nothing I said, but let's get back and get started because I would not be defeated. <laughs> no, I won't. So alrighty. Now let's get right into what we were going to talk about today because I know this message was for somebody. Somebody needs to hear it. Now we're going to talk about how you can start a business in a recession. And I got on and we were talking about earlier, we was talking about how we can start a business in a recession. And before I get started, let me let you know, I'm Sandy. I'm your business strategist and I help you to market, brand and strategize your business. I help you get your idea out your little head, out your head, <laughs> out your little head. I'm not going to pick on you and call your little head. Uh, seriously, I help you get your your um ideas out of your head and into strategizing into the marketplace and helping you set up your systems and set up your business and just grow and make money and leave a legacy like i'm sure that you want to do if you're starting a business so that's what i do and that's what i've been doing i've been doing that for over 15 years um when social media came along it kind of helped and change the game in some areas that you know you don't have to market you, you tend to market your business in a different way after these beautiful platforms came for a lot of us and a lot of us was doing great things before that but you know the social media world expanded the opportunity for all of us right so i'm here and then also in july would be my six year anniversary and i will be celebrating that in a big 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 way this year too and i'm going to be offering some good things some courses and then also if you are not a part of the community, the Push the Dream community, click the link in my bio and let me let you know. Let me let me tell you exactly what area I think I have it. Cause I have I can't remember where I placed it. I have so much going on in the world here. But if you would click the link in the bio or either go to um, www.pushthedream.com, you can also see the information about the um, the plan to profit workshop that I have coming up. But if you go on the webs when you go to www.pushthedream.com you will see the all the links to a lot of things that is going on um, with me and then if you go you go to get weekly business tips click on that button and you can see where you can join the community and you get um, a lot of business tips you also get a lot of videos that I do and I put on the in the in the vault I take them off of social media and I put them in to the uh, community especially for those that are part of the family so you guys can see them um, once you become a part of the family because everything I don't leave up on social media you may see me doing a video a few days and I'll take it down and that's why I do that because I want those that really really care about being a part of and listening to what i hear i i you know they're 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 get the benefit in the long run for that so you need to come on and be a part of the community okay off of the social media platform so now let's get into let me talk um, talk about what what we're going to talk about when it comes down to how you can start a business in a recession right Okay, and you know the financial um, the financial experts and everybody is talking, they're talking about we're already in a recession, but I don't want that to discourage you from not having a business out here and getting out here doing great things in the world. I want you to be able to have the confidence and have the encouragement in order to do that, all right? So that's what we're going to talk about, and we're going to talk about a few of them. I'm going to give you a few of them this evening, and then we'll talk about some more at another time. Let me do something real quick. Let me check my phone because I think that's. But yeah, so what we're gonna what we're gonna do is talk about a few of them. We're gonna talk about um, basically the basics of business. No matter if you are in business, if you're gonna start business, starting a business in a recession, if you have one, if you want to grow it, whatever you have to do. 
you you definitely want to make sure that you have these few things that I'm going to share with you. You definitely need those as a part of your um, setup. You know, you, you can't bypass this. This is nothing for you to skip over. This is nothing for you to forget about. You really need these things that I'm going to share with you. And it is, first of all, you definitely want to have your business set up professionally. That is so important. That means having an EIN number, having an LLC. Outside of having just going to the Secretary of State, doing an LLC, you need to do more than just having those particular things in place. And what I mean by that, you need a standard of procedure agreement. You want to have some more documents that's going to be required. And you want to make sure that you're doing, you know, everything you need to do for your corporation and have it set up professionally. Then also you want to make sure that you have a business bank account. You need to forget about commingling and putting your business finances or um, funding or whatever into a um a personal account. You want to forget about that. Now, there are some more things too that I want to share with you. I have a business toolkit. Let me let me see. And it's you grab your yeah, you can grab your business tool kit by touching that purple button if you go to um, www.pushthedream.com you can have um you can have that that's that's complimentary for now because that is as we speak coming up to the conference um that's going to be this week that i have here in my area um it's going to be it's it's complimentary now but it will go back into the um the the course vault <laughs> okay it will go back into that area so for now there's a toolkit and the reason why i said that that there are some things that you need to preliminary have for your business okay so when you're setting up your business all righty now a couple of more things that i do want to share with you and we'll talk about we'll, we'll go over part two on tomorrow i want to let you know that once you do that those Particular things that I mentioned to you and you have your business set up in that particular area and you have those things that's solid this is how you can start a business in a recession proof economy you want to make sure that you are running you know you are setting up yourself to run your business and bring in traffic to it before you get there you want to make sure that you have your business plan totally in place meaning you know what products and services that you're going to you know if you're going to do both, you want to make sure that you have all of that information laid out. You know how you're going to do it. You know how your business model is going to be. You want to make sure that those things are done. You're going to also going to have to make sure that you have certain things like a payment process. This is part of the, the business toolkit that I was telling you about. If you go there and you click the link in my bio and get that business toolkit, it'll tell you everything you need. I'm not going over it with you here. But it'll tell you everything you need. People get it before it goes back into the sales vault. Okay, it will tell you everything you need, and for so you can get things up and running and going with your business. It, it's not going to cost you anything. It'll give you inf the information that you need. Now, one of the other things that I want to make sure that you you know you have you have a team on your you know you have a team whether you're going to get funding later on whether you want to maybe in the long in the future think about getting someone to getting someone to fund your business and you may not need that now but just in case you do we want to make sure that you know that you have you can qualify for it or you know that you got it set up so where you can qualify and get the loan because the number one thing that a bank also look for when they're giving a loan or investors looking to fund a business and they they look at the team that's on that they, they look at the team that you have in your business because they know that it the teamwork makes the dream work teamwork makes the dream work without the team it's pretty much it's it's not gonna it's it's not gonna go anywhere too far because you need they know because I'm sure the investors, they all of them know they've been in business. You need to have someone there that's going to, um, it's going to be familiar, you know, that's going to help the, the business run smoothly. So that's why they require that of you. And it's so important to them. Okay. All right. And um, also, 
Okay. All righty. There we go. So also, we want to make sure that that's in place for you, you know, that you have that in place. And then one more thing I do want to share with you before I go and before we leave is going to be having your done. Don't forget about your Duns and Bradstreet number. Your Duns and Bradstreet number is going to be so important to your establishing business credit because and your business is going to need funding, even if you don't go with a lender or, you know, you're going to need um, OPM, other people's money in order to keep your business afloat. And, you know, you may need it for payroll later on in your business. Your business may be gone and that you, you, you you're going to really let's say, for instance, if you get a contract for your business, you're going to need to have somebody to help you with that contract. And you may need to emer- have an emergency hire, you know, to fulfill that that particular order of your business and you want to make sure that you have those things in place that you all set up for the opportunity that you probably can you know that you can have so that's not that's something that um and and beginning your dance number is free of charge some people may try to charge you for certain things but i think once you get your dance number they'll try to charge you for the products that they have along with you having your your dance number because it's it's so many benefits of having a DUNS number and some of the things that are help, it can help you with. So that's what they try to sell you on is those products. So anyway, um, that that's pretty much all that you, you know, you need to know when it for is setting, starting your business in a professional recession proof um, era. So don't, don't be afraid to in thinking that, you know, that is, it's not for you and oh my goodness just don't let this don't let it get don't let it scare you out here um but you know you do be you you do want to be cautious and you do want to plan and you do want to make sure that you are doing what you need to do to make um to to make the best out of your time to make the best out of your business idea to make the best and not waste any money when you are out here doing things and getting prepared for that that business that that business idea that you started so so that's what i want to i definitely want to share with you um you know here too also today but i think that i'm going to i want to make sure that i and i think that i'm going to okay i think that everything was running smooth this everything was running smoothly here because i might mess messed up last time so I got everything up and running like I needed to now. So yay. All right. So awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop right here today and I will see you tomorrow. And for those that are here locally, you're coming to the seminar workshop next week. I'm looking forward to seeing you there and you will, I want you to be ready because you're going to leave there. If you got an business idea, we're going we're gonna to chop that thing up and we're going to break it down and we're going we're gonna to bring it to its lowest common denominator for its highest potential. That's what we're going to do. We're going to break it down and we're going to piece it together and, and make sure that you're ready to, to take it to where it, it needs to be. And I, if you do all the things that I tell you to do, it's going to be an amazing, amazing day that you, you're going to have an amazing day amazing good good life with whatever you're doing so anyway i definitely want to make sure that you know know some of these some of the things that i'm seeing so if there's any questions you know how to reach me um and also please join the community that's where you're going to get the most of of you know the most behind the scenes stuff and then i come on live and sometimes i even come in and we i answer questions so I want you to be able to have access to me outside of social media. So, alrighty. So, make sure that you are you you are staying focused and make sure that you're doing what you need to do. And remember, um, you know, to help your business grow, just take it step by step by step by step and process by process by process. Just remember that everything is a process and nothing happens overnight. But you know what? You got what it takes. So you got to hang in there. You got to do what you need to do to and do. Just, just take the steps that you need to take in order to get to your next level, whatever it is, your business level, you know, growing your business, getting checking that list and making that list and checking it twice or whatever you have to do with your business 
can be successful and it will be successful if you put the work in and you put the work in to make it happen. That's all I got to tell you about that. Okay. Alrighty. And remember, you were created for greatness. Alrighty. So just remember that you have greatness within you. You have everything you need to know. Everything you need to, to know is all within. It's just that you got to believe in yourself and you got to know like you know like you know that you have what it takes. And you do have what it takes. So you got to keep telling yourself, I can do it. I can do it. All righty. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Have a beautiful afternoon. Bye-bye.